टुडे वी विल डिस्कस मसल स्पिंडल मसल स्पिंडल्स आर सेंसरी रिसेप्टर्स विद इन द बॉडी ऑफ अ मसल दैट प्राइमरीली डिटेक्ट चेंजेस इन द लेंथ ऑफ द मसल दे कन्वे लेंथ इन्फॉर्मेशन टू द सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम वाया सेंसरी न्यूरोन्स दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन कैन बी प्रोसेस बाय द ब्रेन to determine the position of body parts the responses of muscle spindles to changes in length also play an important role in regulating the contraction of muscles by activating motor neurons via the stretch reflex to resist muscle stretch when we see in detail the muscle spindles are located parallel to muscle <clears throat> they provide information about length of muscle and rate of change of length these are seen more in hand muscles that means they are more necessary for skill movements they involve in maintenance of posture when we see structure of muscle spindles in detail these are capsulated 4 mm long these ends attach to extra fugal fibers or tendon there are seen two types of intra fusal fibers total these are 8 to 10 intra fusal fibers when you see the structure there is a nuclear bag two per spindles and nuclear chain the contractile elements are located at the ends while the centrals are seen as elastic structures this figure showing the structure of muscle spindles where is seen flower spray static annulo spiral dynamic trail endings flat endings and gamma efferents of lexel these are the b fibers to extra fugals when you see this in detail that their innervations first there is sensory innervation which is divided into primary and secondary innervation the primary is i a and secondary is a 2 this primary is the i a that is annulo spiral the center part of both fibers during muscle stretching show rapid adaptation concern with monosynaptic reflex while the secondary shows flower spray from nuclear chain fibers discharge during sustained stretch detects length of the muscle hence no adaptation that means primary show rapid adaptation while secondary show no adaptation when you see the motor nerve supply of intrafusal fibers 30% of ventral root while gamma motor neurons small motor nerve system plate endings these are nuclear by fibers these are dynamic while trail ending nuclear chain fiber that is static that means plate endings acts as a dynamic while a trail ending acts as a static the dynamic part consists of nuclear back fiber while static part consists of nuclear chain fibers these are the basic two parts that is nuclear back fibers and nuclear chain fibers nuclear back fiber consists of dynamic while nuclear chain fiber consists of static when is this beta neurons these are attached to both intrafusal and extra fusal fibers while well, gamma efferent causes contraction of intrafusal and reflexes of contraction of muscle when we see the functions of muscle spindle what are their basic functions first important function is stretch reflex that means they provide feedback or they act as feedback device to maintain muscle length they act as feedback device to maintain muscle length secondly the primary sensory ending sensitive to rate of change of length 
that means dampening of physiological tremors third gamma motor activity modifies the sensitivity of muscle spindle that means they modify the sensitivity of muscle spindles and maintenance of the posture these are basically the four functions of muscle spindle first is stretch reflex that means they act as feedback device to maintain muscle length secondly they maintain the posture thirdly they modify the sensitivity and fourthly the primary sensory endings are sensitive to the rate of change of length of muscle next two important addition functions are maintenance of contraction during whirl moment x alpha gamma linkage depending or descending pathways from basal ganglia cortical areas cerebellum reticular formation modify tone of the muscle through gamma discharge that means in addition the descending pathways from basal ganglia cortical areas cerebellum reticular formation modify the tone of the muscle through this gamma discharge